I'm a software engineer working with a Qt team in Berlin and usually work on the Qt simulator and the language support in Qt Creator. Today we're introducing the Qt SDK 1.1, which allows you to, to develop Qt applications for Symbian, future Migo devices and the desktop. This version of the Qt SDK has two major new components. One of them is Qt Quick and the other are new Qt Mobility APIs. Qt Quick is a framework within Qt for the development of great looking and intuitive user interfaces. And you can develop these user interfaces even without any knowledge of C++. Instead, these applications are developed in QML, which is a language based on JavaScript, which will make it easy for anyone who has a background in HTML, CSS or JavaScript on the web to get into. I'm Juha Turunen, I'm a senior software specialist at Tichia and I'm a mobile developer. Our application is completely implemented with Qt Quick. It took me about six weeks to get the basic functionality working, and that included learning QML from scratch. It really gives a huge boost to your productivity. Futurize is, is a originally Finnish company. We are doing uh, agile web and mobile development. The 90ELF app we developed is an application which enables you to listen to live football games whenever and wherever you are. Qt Quick really helped us as an agile company to develop in an agile way to transfer the ideas from the concept of the application into the real shippable product really fast and really easy. One of the great aspects of using Qt Quick is that you can do your prototyping in it. So instead of going to a different tool like Flash, you actually do your prototype in Qt Quick and QML, and then reuse that code in your real application. In the 90ELF application, we implemented some great transitions. That was one thing to development pretty easy, and another thing was that this stuff is really looking great on the new devices. The QML enables you to prototype really fast and do changes if the customer just wants to have something different somewhere, it was really easy to fulfill that request. When you're working with QML, you get this really nice feeling that you are really able to do what you want to do. Animating stuff inside QML is just so easy compared to other frameworks. With the new Qt Mobility APIs, you can develop rich applications by accessing more device functionality. Examples of these new APIs are the Camera API, the Maps and Navigation API, the Landmarks API for accessing POIs. The Qt SDK 1.1 also includes the Notifications API. You can use that to add fast and easy push notifications for your applications. All the tooling that you need for developing with Qt Quick is in the Qt SDK and Qt Creator. You just have one tool set, one box of tools you use, and you don't need to have like several other SDKs to, to finish your project. You can reach millions of customers by publishing your Qt applications in Office Store. The Office Store is available in 190 countries, with operator billing available in many of them. You can download the Qt SDK from the forum Nokia and Qt websites, and you will also find more information and documentation there.